All right, so the last video did get, uh, cut off a little bit. So I have uh, completed sharing. So what I did is I shared those eight that I had here on the, um, the board amongst the four negative X's. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to prove um, that this is going to work uh, using the algorithm in just a moment, but I wanted to show you. Now, if you look, normally the X values are not presented as negative X's. They're normally just presented as positive X's. So what do we do if we have a negative X over here? And each negative X is assigned to positive two, okay? So what I would do is I would flip all of these to X. You know, you might be asking, well, Mr. Moore, how can you do that? The way that I can do that is I can then flip these also to the opposite sign, okay? So each positive X is now going to be assigned to two, or to negative two, sorry. All right, so I'm now gonna prove that with my algorithm, okay? Because each X is gonna be assigned to a negative X value. So I'm gonna prove it. So I have here, just as I did before, I'm going to add two negatives to each side. And you can confirm that by looking early on in the last video. Uh, this becomes eight. This is zero, of course. And that's gonna be equal to negative four X. I'm gonna use the inverse operation here since I am multiplying inverse operation would be division. I know it sort of looks like a fraction. That's all that a fraction is, is division, okay? I'm gonna make sure that the signs are proper there. When I divide a negative four X divided by negative four, that becomes positive X. My rules of division tell me a negative divided by a negative becomes a positive. And eight divided by negative four becomes a negative two. So as you notice, I modeled me switching each of these to a positive X, switching those to negative two. X is equal to negative two. As always, if uh, this video is something that is uh, confusing, just go back to the beginning of that first part. Watch it again, okay? Make sure that you watch the second part so you can see how it ended up. And if you have any other questions, you can always ask me in class. You can stop by tutorials Monday or Tuesday. And this concludes this particular video. I hope that this was very informative for you, all parents, uh, children that are watching, my students. Uh, good luck. Make sure that you watch it again if you have any uh, additional issue. And as always, I will see you in class tomorrow.